Hello everyone. We have already started the chapter Principles of Inheritance and Variation. We have finished two portions of it. We will be moving on to the next section now. Now, after Mendel did all his experiments, the next work for him to do was to publish his work. By around 1865, he published his work. But his work did not attain as much attention and publicity as it should have. There are a few reasons behind it. First of all, communication in the mid-19th century was not as vast as it is today. So whenever a person publishes a paper, a paper, he should ensure that his paper reaches as much audience as possible. But in his case, because of this communication problem, that could not be attained. Secondly, Mendel talked about genes which are hereditary units occurring in pairs and about alleles etc. But his work could not explain the variation that is seen in the nature. That is, every organism is different from one another. And even within a species, there is so much of variation seen. So just by saying that genes are there, alleles are there, it could not exactly explain how this variation comes into existence. Thirdly, he was the first person to apply mathematics to biology. And in the mid-19th century, people were so narrow-minded that it could not accept this. Biology is separate, biophysics is separate. How can we mix both? It is absurd. That's what they said. Lastly, because he said genes are the discrete units of inheritance and they occur in pairs. He just said them based on his observations and calculations of his mind. He could not provide any physical evidence for the same. Because of all these reasons, his work remained unanonymous. People could not know about it until the 1900s. By 1900, a group of scientists, Hugo de Vries, Carl Correns, and Eric von Schermack. These were three independent scientists working on three different plant hybrids. They found the similar kind of identification that Mendel had made. So just before they were about to publish their work, they were just going through literature. That is, whenever a person or researcher is about to publish their work, they have to go through the work done by previous scientists and all the same kind of topics they were going through. And to the surprise, they found out that everything that they had discovered or they had observed in plants had already been penned down by Mendel and his Pendel's law of inheritance. So that is how, how these people rediscovered Mendel's law of inheritance. They also observed independently the same factors that Mendel had during his time. That's how they rediscovered it. He some may have to take him. Almost because of the advancement of technologies, a microscope was invented because of which it was easily able to, the cells could be observed under the microscope. And because of the observation of cell under the microscope, they identified that within the nucleus, there is a particular structure which doubled and separates just before every cell division. And they named it as, do you know what they named it? Chromosomes. Chromo means colored. Okay. So, I'm going to chromosome identify you. I'm going to chromosome identify you. But take him. Cool and well. They were able to observe the cell division. Meiosis, mitosis, separation of chromosomes. Okay. They were slowly able to identify. I'm going to identify, identify. They started writing down the characters of these chromosomes. Okay. Chromosomes they appear like beads on the string. beads string beads on string they appear and they double just before cell division and they separate out into the 
gametes and when pala pala properties identify ji to they start writing it down it was around at that time two other scientists came into the scene let us look who were there and what they did walter satan and theodore boveri walter satan and theodore boveri ivade rendu separate scientists working independently avarku parasparam ariyilla ivar avarude daya karyangal nokki work cheyna aalkaru satan was working with grasshopper and boveri was working with sea urchins and together they postulated a chromosomal theory of inheritance what is it chromosomal theory of inheritance so today we will be learning what is this chromosomal theory of inheritance let us see what were ivar endha kandupidichathu these scientists while they were working with their respective organisms they found out that the knowledge about chromosomes that they were slowly attaining and the ideas that mendel had already given about genes had some similarities between them ennu vachale chromosomesne patti ippam ariyapadna karyangalum ജീൻസിനെ പറ്റി മെന്റൽ ഓൾറെഡി പറഞ്ഞ കാര്യങ്ങൾ തമ്മിൽ ഒരുപാട് സിമിലാരിറ്റീസ് ഉണ്ട് ലെറ്റ് എസ് ലുക്ക് വാട്ട് ദോസ് സിമിലാരിറ്റീസ് ആർ വൺ സൈഡ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് ടേക്ക് ക്രോമോസോംസ് റൈറ്റ് അനദർ സൈഡ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് ടേക്ക് മെന്റൽ സ്ട്രാക്ടേഴ്സ് and those factors not the it is nothing but genes all right now chromosome me patti avaru padichappam they understood that chromosomes always occur in pairs what is it they occur in pairs one part of the pair was paternal paternal nu parna endana obtained from the father and another was was maternal obtained from the mother and next we observed that right before cell division each of these chromosomes see now they are called as homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes and then now of one obtained from the father one obtained from the mother and now they are called as chromosome homologous chromosomes okay that's why they are always in pairs right now right before cell division they found out that these chromosomes double engena double avunadu double avunadu what is it All right they double still joined even now they are homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes all right now see this is just one pair if you take in our body 23 of such pairs are there 23 pairs leading to 46 chromosomes i'm talking about only one pair of those chromosomes they are homologous chromosomes only to one pair net one obtained from father one obtained from mother one to are called the pair are homologous chromosomes in homologous chromosomes le do you see two parts a single one single chromosome is having two parts ivare vilikina pair are sister chromatids sister chromatids this one and this one they are 
non sister comets endana non sister from matids are you able to understand sister from matids ela manasilayo non sister from matids ela manasilayo engena nanasalum together both are together called as homologous chromosomes now during cell division especially during meiosis what happens is each of these chromosomes separate from each other in meiosis 1 during meiosis 1 which is reductional division one of the chromosome from the pair enter into one gamete oh sorry daughter cells not gametes daughter cells ingane separate out in after meiosis 1 All right. What happens after meiosis two? Our pin name separate either individually or or a gamete like enter in. Like this. ഇതാണ് ക്രോമോസോംസിനെ പറ്റി മെയിൻലി അവർ പറഞ്ഞ കാര്യം വൺ ദ അക്കർ ഇൻ പേഴ്സ് അമങ് ദി ദ പേർ വൺ പാർട്ട് ഇസ് ഒബ്ടൈൻ ഫ്രം ദ ഫാദർ അനദർ പാർട്ട് ഇസ് ഒബ്ടൈൻ ഫ്രം ദി മദർ ദ ഡബിൾ ജസ്റ്റ് ബിഫോർ സെൽ ഡിവിഷൻ ആൻഡ് സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ദ സെഗ്രിഗേറ്റ് ഫ്രം ഈച്ച് അദർ ദ സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ഫ്രം ഈച്ച് അദർ സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് ഇൻടു ഈച്ച് ഗാമീറ്റ് ഓൺലി വൺ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദി ക്രോമോസോം എൻ്റേഴ്സ് ഓൾ റൈറ്റ് നൗ ലെറ്റ് അസ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ലെറ്റ് അസ് റീകോൾ what mendel had told about his factors there also mendel said that factors occur in pairs just recall law of dominance the inheritance units are factors factors occur in pairs appa engane irikkum let us take the pairs as like this alle these pairs may be homozygous or heterozygous now i have taken into consideration heterozygous pair all right even these pair just before cell division they segregate from each other that is law of segregation they and such they segregate such that each gamete receive only one of the allele just like here they occur in pairs and they segregate such that the gametes receive only one of the pair so marty manslan and the similarity walter sutton and theodore boveri observed between chromosomes and the mendel's factors yes now last and final he talked about independent assortment we found that like mendel's factors in a dihybrid cross when two different characters are taken into consideration two different allelic pairs are taken into consideration each allelic pair separates or segregates independent of the other allelic pair in which ingala we have capital r small r and capital y small y this is a dihybrid cross with two allelic pairs all right now in this case each allelic pair separate from each other independent of the other in which all round and wrinkled separates from yellow and green independently avarude segregation is not dependent on each other adu pole thaniyana what chromosomes lum observe edu now please check page number 82 of your textbook there figure 5.9 in figure 5.9 they have given possibility 1 and possibility 2 just look at possibility 1 four chromosomes are there that is two homologous pairs our homologous first pair is red and yellow color 
second pair is green and orange color okay avarude separation nokku engena nadakkunnu enna that is first ray in possibility to same chromosomes have been given only one change is that in the second homologous pair there is a exchange in place of green red is there in place of red green is there engana irunnalum oru pair inde segregation is independent of the other pair avarku engena aanu povunde angane povulu color angotu ingot aayalum matte idine yaadru vidathilu affect cheyan povunnilla a one pair inde position angotu ingot maariyalum aa position change matte idine affect cheyan povunnilla avar engena aanu nerthu poi kondane angane thanne avaru povullu this is what they said that independent assortment of factors allelic pairs independent assortment undo adhe polathe is the assortment which is independent of each other is also seen in chromosomes so after all this walter sutton and theodore boveri said that they were convinced and they said that the mendel's factors or genes were actually situated on the chromosomes in which i left ഈ ജീൻസ് മെന്റൽ സംസാരിച്ച ജീൻസ് ആൻഡ് ക്രോമോസോംസ് ഹാഡ് സോ മെനി സിമിലാരിറ്റീസ് ബിക്കോസ് വിച്ച് ദ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടഡ് ദാറ്റ് ദീസ് ജീൻസ് വെർ ആക്ച്വലി പ്രസന്റ് ഓൺ ദ ക്രോമോസോംസ് ക്രോമോസോംസിലാണ് ജീൻസ് പ്രസന്റ് അപ്പൊ ക്രോമോസോം സെപ്പറേറ്റിംഗ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ആക്ച്വലി വി ആർ ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ജീൻസ് ആർ സെപ്പറേറ്റിംഗ് ക്രോമോസോമിലാണ് ജീൻസ് ഉള്ളത് അതുകൊണ്ട് ക്രോമോസോം സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ആകുമ്പോൾ ജീൻസ് സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ആകുന്നു അൻ ഹെൻസ് കാരക്ടേഴ്സ് സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ആകുന്നു അങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നിട്ടും പ്രോപ്പറായ ഫിസിക്കൽ എവിഡൻസ് പ്രൊവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റാത്ത കാരണം ദ വർക്ക് ബൈ വോൾട്ടർ സട്ടൺ ആൻഡ് ഹെഡോ ബോവേരി കുഡ് നോട്ട് ബി ആക്സെപ്റ്റഡ് അവരെന്താ ചെയ്തത് വെച്ചാൽ ദ നോളേജ് അബൌട്ട് ക്രോമോസോംസ് ദാറ്റ് ദേ ഹാഡ് ഒബ്ജെയിൻഡ് ദ കമ്പൈൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിത്ത് വാട്ട് എവർ മെന്റൽ ടോക്ട് അബൌട്ട് ഇൻ ഹിസ് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ദ മെന്റേഴ്സ് ലോസ് ഓഫ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഇൻഹെറിറ്റൻസിനെ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് വാൾട്ടർ സട്ടനും തിയഡോ ബോവേരിയും ക്രോമോസോമിനെ പറ്റിയുള്ള നോളേജ് അതിലേക്ക് അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്തു അങ്ങനെ അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്തപ്പോൾ ഫൈനലായിട്ട് വന്ന റിസൾട്ടിനെ അവർ വിളിച്ച പേരാണ് ക്രോമോസോമൽ തിയറി ഓഫ് ഇൻഹെറിറ്റൻസ് സോ ക്രോമോസോമൽ തിയറി ഓഫ് ഇൻഹെറിറ്റൻസ് വാസ് പുട്ട് ഫോർവേർഡ് ബൈ വോൾട്ടർ സട്ടൺ ആൻഡ് തിയഡോ ബോവേരി but even in their case because of the absence of any kind of physical evidence providing showing what chromosomes are and that genes are actually present on chromosomes because of this lack of evidence even their work faced a lot of rejections appalana thomas hunt morgan da work field like erangida thomas hunt morgan da work Thomas Hunt Morgan was working with fruit flies. That is Drosophila melanogaster. Drosophila melanogaster is a scientific name of fruit flies. Fruit flies are not a കൂവീച്ച നമ്മൾ ഫ്രൂട്ട്സ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്വീറ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള എന്തെങ്കിലും സാധനം ഓപ്പൺ ആയിട്ട് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ സ്മോൾ സ്മോൾ ഫ്ലൈസ് വിൽ കമൻസ് ഇട്ട് ഉണ്ട് ദോസ് ആർ ഫ്രൂട്ട് ഫ്ലൈസ് ഓർ ഡ്രോസോഫില്ല മെൽനോഗ്യാസ് പ്ലീസ് മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ദാറ്റ് യു ലേൺ ദിസ് ടേം സയൻറ്റിഫിക് ടേം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡ്രോസോഫില്ല മെൽനോഗ്യാസ് സോ വാട്ട് വാസ് തോമസ് ഹണ്ട് മോർഗൻസ് ഡിസ്കവറീസ് തോമസ് ഹണ്ട് മോർഗൻസ് ആസ് ഐ സെറ്റ് വാസ് വർക്കിംഗ് വിത്ത് ഡ്രോസോഫില്ല മെൽനോഗ്യാസ് നോ ആസ് ഹി വാസ് വർക്കിംഗ് വിത്ത് ദിസ് ഇൻ വൺ ഓഫ് ഹിസ് stock he found that there is a white eyed male in between all other red eyed flies nachale undarna population le ella red eyed ayirunu except for one male which had a white eye color he became furious and started finding out the reason for this he took this white eyed male and crossed with a red eyed female in the f1 generation all the progenies were red eyed so this proved that red eye color was the dominant eye color now further from the f1 generation he took a female and a male and crossed them and the f2 generation he found that some white eyed flies were also there and all of them were males angane oru vaadu breeding experiments cheyadhan shesham 
he came up with an explanation or came up with a hypothesis to explain this phenomenon. He called it as sex limited characters or sex linked characters. Sex limited or now it is also known as sex linked characters. In Dana is sex linked characters. Sex linked characters. Characters in association with the sex chromosome or to be more, more specific in this case X chromosome. So sex linked characters are those characters in association with the sex chromosome. E white eye color and the character is present on the X chromosome. Is linked to the X chromosome. Further, after this one, he observed many such genetic variation in his population. White eye color and the wale, Urbade genetic variations pinning kandu. Apa Adela further study chido kipam, all of them had association with the X chromosome. All of them were sex linked characters. So he concluded that discrete unit of inheritance were present on the X chromosome, which were present in a linear fashion. That is, Repeating, huh? He said that discrete units of inheritance, he adopted the term genes for that. So genes are present on the X chromosome in a linear fashion. We take this as a chromosome. Genes are present on them in a linear fashion. And with further studies, he also concluded that the position of a gene in a chromosome is specific and it could be identified precisely. The position of a gene in a chromosome is called as map. But genetic mapping or nale, there is a process of finding out the position of a gene in the chromosome. But map and position of gene in a chromosome. And he said that this position can be precisely identified using chromosomal regions. There are techniques for it. Angane, he provided physical evidence to the fact that genes are present on the chromosome. Angane, our issue solved by. Pin a variation snippet. Many people were all the scientists who had worked on this thing were not able to explain exactly why variations are there. So he gave a clue to that also. He said that in a population of all red eye colored flies, suddenly a white eye colored fly appeared. So the difference was in their X chromosome. The particular gene which governs the eye pigment had undergone certain mutation because of which a particular protein could not be produced and hence that fly had a white eye color. Upon mutation on it, he said that such kind of mutation alter the structure of chromosome and hence alter genes. Genes alter it in any other produce a particular character it won't be able to showcase. Anganyana variation comes into existence. So Thomas Hunt Morgan gave the physical evidence for the fact that Genes are present on chromosome and also mutation cause variations. Because for the uh, Thomas Hunt Morgan also uh, received Nobel Prize for his work on Drosophila. Now a question is, a very important question over this, why Drosophila? The EU study Chetan Shesham Drosophila had been widely uh, used for experiments in genetics. Why Drosophila? Drosophila in the paranario organism, it is very easy to grow them. Mashed bananas on the ingil, elupatil avare, grow jiyam. Kochi mashed bananas or a bottle it in yala, ainathe, or a culture right to be a child, food source right, the uh, drosophila can grow. Not only that, the life cycle of a drosophila is very short, that is 12 to 14 days or 2 weeks. And then 2 weeks, 2 weeks kudumba, pudi pudi population in the and the life cycle continues. In a shorter time, you can produce a large amount of population. Next is that each mating results in the production of a large number of offsprings. 
ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം മീറ്റ് ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം ഒറ്റ ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽ ഉണ്ടാവണമെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് വെരി ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് ബിക്കോസ് യു ഹാവ് ടു കണ്ടക്ട് സോ മച്ച് ഓഫ് മീറ്റിംഗ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ബട്ട് ഇൻ ദിസ് കേസ് ഇമീഡിയറ്റ്ലി ആഫ്റ്റർ ഈച്ച് മീറ്റിംഗ് ദ പ്രോജനി ഇറ്റ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ഇസ് വെരി ലാർജ് ഫോർട്ടി ഫിഫ്റ്റി സിക്സ്റ്റി മേ ബി ഹൺഡ്രഡ്സ് അത് മാത്രമല്ല ഈ ഡ്രോസോഫില്ല ഹാഡ് സോ മെനി ജെനറ്റിക് വേരിയേഷൻസ് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഒരുപാട് ഒബ്സർവബിൾ ജെനറ്റിക് വേരിയേഷൻസ് ഉണ്ട് ഇപ്പൊ നോർമൽ നിന്ന് ഡീവിയേറ്റ് ആയ ഒരുപാട് ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് കാണാൻ പറ്റും അപ്പൊ ഒരുപാട് ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് അതിനെ കാണുമ്പോൾ ഓ ഇത് ഇങ്ങനെ സംഭവിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ വി ക്യാൻ ഗോ ടു ദാറ്റ് ബേസ് പ്രോബ്ലം എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് അത് സംഭവിച്ചത് അങ്ങനെ അതിന്റെ പ്രോബ്ലത്തിന്റെ സൊല്യൂഷൻ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പോകുമ്പോൾ വി ഫൈൻഡ് ആൻസേഴ്സ് ടു മെനി അതർ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഹൗ സയന്റിസ്റ്റ് വിൽ നോ ഹാവ് ഡിസ്കവേർഡ് ഓൾ ദ ഫാക്ട്സ് ദാറ്റ് വി നോ ടുഡേ That is chromosomal theory of inheritance. So, chromosomal theory of inheritance and that we will explain Mendel's laws of inheritance and explain the inheritance. The chromosome is applied to the knowledge. That is the physical evidence of Thomas Hunt Morgan by his work on Drosophila melanogaster. That's it. Understood? Please read your textbook. Reading textbook is very important because in simple words everything has been given in your textbook. Only if you read daily will you be able to understand that. Alright.